Welcome to The Proud Gardener. My name is Wendy Proud, and today we'll be talking about eco-friendly containers. It's any container that utilizes less resources, can actually save you water, is non-polluting to the environment, and potentially could be made from a renewable resource. One of the containers I'd like to share with you is a product that's actually made from rice hulls. These containers are very lightweight. They're incredibly durable. Uh, they have a three to five year longevity. They're completely biodegradable. They can be used indoors or out. And some of the best qualities about these containers is that they contain no wood or petroleum and they are non-depleting to any part of the environment. This is an indoor grouping that we did here with assorted foliages. It's beautiful, nice low bowl. And also all of them can be found with these saucers that are sweat proof as well. Another option that you have with using these pots is planting single items in them. For example, succulents with a little bit of rock, very beautiful, simplistic design. This could be brought indoors for a short period of time and then be taken outdoors so that it can receive the amount of sunlight that it needs. They also come in a wide range of colors. So you have yellows to browns. A lot of very natural tones are used in producing these containers. Many of you may already have a beautiful ceramic container like this. It's quite heavy. Let me show you an option so that you don't have to continually take it inside and out and do planting with it. And that is you can use a self-watering container. So we've taken this beautiful salvia and put it into this self-watering pot, slip it right in there, and you're done. Completely easy. Let me show you how the self-watering pots work. They're a very ingenious little device here. They are a completely self-contained unit. So on the bottom of the container, you have a reservoir here that collects and holds the water. There's absolutely no holes in this container. You put your little apparatus in here where the plant actually sits on top of. You plant your soil and your plant, whatever your choice is, indoors or out, right here in the center. Fill it up with soil and then water it real well. Any subsequent waterings that you do, you will want to do through this little tube on the side here. That allows you to water as needed. You'll take a little dipstick as well and measure the amount of water prior to watering to make sure that you're not overwatering your container. Here's an example of one that we have indoors. It's actually made of iron and ceramics, so it's quite heavy. So what's great about this is you can use one of these self-watering pots right here in the exact spot that it is and never have to take it outside. Another type of eco-friendly container that I'd like to share with you today is coconut fiber. This is actually made from the husk of a coconut. Now these can be used primarily outdoors. Indoors you really don't want to bring them because they do seep from all areas of the container. These are great for plants that require excellent drainage and good airflow. We have this beautiful rectangular planter with all these fabulous looking succulents. There's not a flower in here. It's just all wonderful textures and foliages. They will biodegrade in about three to five years, so they do have a limited lifespan, but by then you'll be ready to change out your container and do something different. If you'd like to review any of this information I shared with you today, please visit rogersgardens.com.